Hi Gemini, so I'm going to get straight into your reading and if there's anything else that you feel that you need to know about, including the card decks I've used for your reading, you can find all of that information and more in my descriptions box and in my pinned comments below. Cross watchers, please remember that you can switch the energies around if it applies, but please do bear in mind this might not be in regards to you at all okay it could be someone else that gemini is dealing with and equally gemini some of this read might not resonate for you as well okay you always just take the bits that resonate for you and you leave what doesn't right um yeah we've switched up your read a little bit this month gemini so what i'm gonna do is with this deck i'm gonna pull <clears throat> the four strongest energies that surround you at this time and then we'll move on to your tarot. I will be clarifying, if you get any Zodiac cards that come out of this deck, I will be clarifying their intent towards you. Okay, right, it's for Gemini, please. Right, so you've got Virgo. Seems to be that everybody's dealing with Virgo throughout the month of May. Um, this, this card keeps coming out. So yeah, Virgo energy. You could have Virgo in your chart or you could be dealing with a Virgo. We've got Aries. So again, you could have Aries in your chart or you could be dealing with an Aries. You have another two, please, for Gemini. Okay. The Sun. So that's Leo energy. And Uranus, that's Aquarian energy. Okay, so what we're looking at is action, a lot of action towards you, Gemini, with this combination here. I get the strong impression that you're dealing with an individual who will not take no for an answer, okay? I don't know what their intent is yet because I need to clarify these two, as I said at the start of your reading. Um, this is someone who has, that they've utilized their intellect to help with their decision making with this Uranus energy, right? Now, there, there's also a vibe of upheaval with this, okay? You could be looking at someone who is strongly considering um, uprooting their current life in order to have a life with you with this particular combination okay it shows me that this is someone who is very forthright um, that they will not take no for an answer and you might be dealing with issues of feeling a little bit guilty for them taking such extreme measures as well Okay, right, we're going to clarify the two zodiacs. So what does Virgo want, please, for Gemini? What is the Virgo wanting? Thank you. Okay, three of wands, ten of swords. Okay, so you might have ended something with a Virgo. Um, or a Virgo could be trying to avoid having an ending with you, okay? And this is why they're being so forthright as well. They're, they're also expecting you to reach out and communicate to them. I was about to ask, what does the Aries want with Gemini? I didn't quite get the question out before the Knight of Wands came out. This is Sagittarius energy. So there could be a little bit of a fling that's going on with an Aries or an Aries is quite possibly wanting to have a bit of a fling with you or this situation started off as a fling you might have tried to end it and then they've decided ah actually that th this is a lot more than just a fling for me and they, this is someone who is basically trying to pin you down okay right i don't know if i'll get all of these cards out we'll try Okay, right, we're going to start pulling your tarot, and wh whoever comes out in your tarot, Gemini, it could be one of these individuals that we've seen and you read already, or it could be someone else entirely different, okay? Take it as it resonates, this is a general reading, okay? 
Right, how does Gemini's person in love see Gemini, please? How does Gemini's person? Thank you. Knight of Swords, straight away, Gemini energy. Um, the unexpected. They didn't expect something. And the Fool, Uranus energy, with Five of Wands, Leo energy. Okay. Um, hmm. Why the conflict, though? Why the conflict? Why is this Five of Wands here, please? Gemini's person. Why Five of Wands? Okay. Eight of Swords, Knight of Cups and the Ten of Coins. So uh, Gemini, Pisces and Virgo. Huh. Okay, Gemini, you, you could have been dealing with an individual that was um, dealing with someone else. All right, because we do have conflict and competition here, and it was clarified with these. So there's something about your person is wanting to turn their back on a current situation that they've got on the go, that they're wanting to, in favour of a connection with you, or the connection with you, I should say. However, it's not quite that simple because we got the Eight of Swords here. So this move, this transition, is not going to be as easy as your person thinks it's going to be, basically. The, the, there is this vibe of urgency in their energy with this one, okay? And the, it, it's like they're telling me that they're, they're I don't want to use the word desperate, okay? They, they are desperate, but please don't get it twisted, okay? They're desperate to have a new beginning specifically with you. And it's showing me that that is going to require this. All right. Um, it, it's going to be quite difficult for whoever it is that you're dealing with to uh, disconnect from their current situation. Now, when it comes to you, Gemini, the, the feelings that they have for you are very, very unexpected. Okay, it's like they, they were just not expecting to meet you or meet somebody like you. It's, um, it's thrown them quite a big curveball. Okay, what's in their heart space, please, toward Gemini? Oh, thank you. The Hierophant. Yeah, Taurus energy. Commitment, lessons, a teacher, some, somebody could be a teacher, ten of wands, um, Sagittarian energy in their heart space, Queen of Cups, Cancerian, eight of wands, Sagittarius is loads, four of Cups, Cancerian, nine of coins, Virgo, Justice is Libra and three of Cups is Cancerian. Listen, they're coming out for a reason. Okay, they're, they're absolutely coming out for a reason. Way, way more cards than I wanted to take. However, I, I will take them because they've come out, right? We see that in their heart space, they know that they have to say something, all right? They know that they cannot continue with just leaving things the way that they are, right? Everything feels very much up in the air right now. And it's like, you don't know what they're doing. You don't know what you're doing. They don't know what you're doing. And they, equally, they don't know what they're doing either. So it's, everything's really up in the air. This situation could go one or two ways really, really quickly. I'm seeing though that it's more likely than not to end up swinging in your favour, Gemini. Okay, if this was an individual where there was a little bit of uh, a budding romance, um, what you thought was just a little bit of a fling or anything like that, to them it's a lot more than just that. Okay, uh, you've made them really analyse everything. And that they've had this realization that their current situation, it's not working for them. All right, it's just not working for them. They're not happy. They're not content. They feel like they're the ones that have to do absolutely everything in their current situation. You, for them, have been quite um, 
significant in their life. Okay, you've been a breath of fresh air. You've been much, you've been the much needed change in their life. Okay, now what they're going to do with it, it's indicating that they could, if they're already married, they could be looking at getting a divorce. We do have the Hierophant and Justice here. Um, this, I mean, th this could be a recent divorcee as well, who was just basically expecting to put themselves back out there, have a little bit of a fun and for nothing serious to come of it. They, they could have just had those kind of expectations. But what they've actually come face to face with is an individual who has um, shown them that they're, they're very much loved, that they're very much wanted. And they, I, I don't want to put too much pressure on you here, Gemini. I'm just reading the cards, okay? It's, this is coming from your person's heart spaces. They're, they're telling me that you have given them a reason uh, not not just to live, but it's like you. They they feel like they've got a bigger purpose now, because they met you. Um, it, it's kind of like, it's just that vibe that you exude. You know, you've been really warm, patient, loving, kind, really generous as well. Some of you have been really really generous with this individual with your time and your energy. Um, You've shown them a new way of doing things, a new lifestyle, and they like it, okay? We see that if they're still attached someplace else, we see this Four of Cups. And again, it emphasizes that message that we got here with the Hierophant and the Ten of Wands, that they're not happy in their current situation. You've given them a taste of what life could be like with this nine of coins. So slowly but surely, they're, they're growing as a person. They're growing as an individual and they're thanking you for it, okay? Justice and Three of Cups. Um, if there was minimal communication between you and this individual, Gemini, we do see a reunion. However, this combination does carry a bit of a warning, okay? It is insinuating that for some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, your person could still be involved in their past situation and that they need to wait for some kind of legality. Hierophant, Ten of Wands, Justice, this screams legalities, okay? So they could be waiting for some kind of paperwork to come through. They could be waiting on something from a solicitor or a lawyer, anything like that. Um, for the short term, there will still be that third energy, okay? But right now, your person's telling me that that's out of their hands at this point in time, so that they're, they're hoping that you'll understand. Okay, what's this person hiding from Gemini, please? What are they hiding from Gemini, please? That's, your cards are coming out really abruptly. Right, Queen of Coins, Capricorn Energy, Seven of Swords, uh, Aquarian Energy, and Death, Scorpion Energy. So, yeah, they're hiding... We've seen it all here, and you're getting the same messages as coming out. They're hiding the fact that they might have tried to make things work with their current situation, but it's blown up in their face. Something's backfired here. It's like um, their person was wanting them to try again, a rebirth. Okay, that they, they were wanting to try again. And even though your person wasn't feeling it, they went along with it anyway. It does feel really, really karmic. And I don't like using that word because I do believe that it tends to get quite overused. However, in this read, Gemini, I'm gonna have to make it I'm gonna have to make an exception here, okay, because this does feel really, really karmic. Your person is dealing with a karmic situation. Absolutely. And that's what that, that's what they're hiding. Okay. 
Okay, what actions will they likely take, please, toward Gemini? That. Oof, okay. The moon, Pisces energy. Now, obviously, astrologically and in Lenormand, the moon would be Cancerian energy, but this is tarot, so it's Pisces energy. You got uh, Pisces energy again with the Eight of Cups and Pisces energy again with the Knight of Cups in reverse. So your person could well be dealing with a Pisces. They, they could be fully intending on ending things with a Pisces to come towards you, okay? Um, for others of you, for a tiny, 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 tiny handful of you, Gemini, this is actually in reverse. And this would be someone leaving you to go with a Pisces. It could be, okay? For a very small handful of you, the readings resonate in that way round. <clears throat> now, if that's the case, it is showing me that that's going to backfire and it's going to backfire on them quite quickly. OK, um, in the meanwhile, that there's something about an illusion. There's there's an illusion here that's been cast. You could have been under the impression that your person was trying to make their marriage work and that's not strictly the truth. Or you could have been under the illusion that they were gonna leave. That This is really, really muddled, especially with that Knight of Cups in reverse, because there's, whenever I see the Knight of Cups in reverse, it, it, it screams to me manipulation. It's like emotional blackmail, you know? Um, when it's upright, it's that honest, heartfelt conversation. Okay, it, it's getting things out in the open. It's getting feelings out in the open. When it's in reverse, especially with the moon, it's like, <sighs> feels really emotional blackmail -y to me. It does. Um, it feels really like someone is deliberately trying to invent a story because in their heart they wish that it was true. This could be your person's ex, Gemini. Your person's ex could be shit stirring between you and your person here. They could be emotionally blackmailing as well, your person. There's a straight up lie here in your read, Gemini, and it's difficult for me to pinpoint if it's coming from your person or your person's ex or their soon to be ex. OK, it, it feels messy. It feels like that there is a lot of individuals in this read. Uh, everybody seems to have an opinion and you're just wanting a quiet life. And at the, at the moment, you're not getting it. Why is the Knight of Cups reversed, please? Thank you. King of Swords, Aquarian energy. Yeah. Mm. I don't like it. I'm, I'm just going to peel another one. Why? Thank you. King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I, d I don't like it. I really, really don't like this. Um, someone's playing games. Okay, Gemini. I don't think it's you. I think I think these games are engineered towards you. you you're definitely part of it. I think you could be being used as a pawn in someone's sick game, like for, for certain. But again, I genuinely don't know if this is coming from your person or their ex. So you're going to have to use your best discernment here. Someone is deliberately trying to pull on the heartstrings of another. Okay, King of Swords and King of Cups in reverse. I don't like it. It feels icky. It feels really, really icky. Okay. It's a blockage. Nine of Wands. Sagittarian energy. Defensiveness. You don't know who to trust. 
You don't know who to trust in this situation. You've got a lot, a lot of individuals telling you a lot of different things. It's under the seven, seven of wands, yeah. Leo energy, king of swords again, the lovers, yeah. Two of wands, eight of coins, queen of swords, king of cups. Whatever it is that you're feeling in your gut, Gemini, trust it. Trust your gut with this one, okay. Someone is shit stirring, someone is playing games. I don't know what side of the table it's coming from, but it's certainly here. It's definitely here. My gut reaction to this read is it's someone from your person's past that's doing this. That's what my gut is telling me. Because they're jealous. They're very, very jealous of the relationship that you have with this person here. Someone's ex is being absolutely disgusting towards this connection. Really disgusting. I'm picking up as well, there could well be a lie about a pregnancy. Okay, for some of you, not all of you. There, there could be a lie about that in order to try and reel, reel them back in. Or if this is you dealing with an ex, Gemini, that this could be an ex that's doing it to you as well. I do feel that it's slightly more uh, further away than that though. It is, it's just the way that the messages are coming in because th things are getting so muddled and distorted. It, it gives that vibe of distance to the energy. It's like a, a game of Chinese whispers. It's got that kind of vibe to it. Okay, no further clarity, please, for Gemini. No. Okay. Right, so this group here wants to come out, and I will take the bottom one as well. Okay, right, it's the dragonfly. Being lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, heal. Who's walking who? Control, power, issues, resistant, unenthusiastic. Being led on, getting pilled and feeling overwhelmed. Abundance, keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss with gratuity. Again, being gracious, abundant mindset. High frequency, positivity, attracting what you want. The runner. Run it in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy and listening to ego and know you hang up. Lengthy, exciting conversations, having a lot to talk about, being into each other, meaningful, giddy, a lot in common. I like you, someone likes you, romance is blooming. Fun, flirting, wanting to date and paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness and enjoying each other. It's, I, I'm seeing this as, you, you were looking for a meaningful connection to share with another individual. You know, it, it's what everybody's looking for in life. You manifested this connection, right? You, you manifested it. Things were going well. It's, it's showing me that things were going really, really well. You're both enjoying each other's company. I mean, you, you couldn't have really asked for more, okay? You, you were really just enjoying each other's I mean, how, how much more can I say? You were falling in love with each other, um, addicted to each other almost as well, constantly in communication, things moving forward the, the way that they should be, okay? It made you feel happy and giddy and excited about the future. All of a sudden, we've got some bastard that's come in from some place and they've seen that you're happy with this individual and it's like they're, they're deliberately trying to cause you problems for, for this relationship. Um, you, you've got the, the gossip and the fear mongering that's going on. You've got somebody's ex that's sh straight up shit stirring something to try and cause am animosity with this connection. 
and you're like, I, d I don't know who to trust. I, I, I don't know who to believe. I don't know what to believe. Like, what's going on? You feel like um, you, you're stuck in the middle of something here, Gemini. You're genuinely stuck in the middle. Your person's ex, I feel, is, I mean, the, the jealousy that's coming out in this read, it feels unjustified, okay? That there's something about this read that genuinely does not feel fair. It's almost as if they can say whatever they want to your person and your person will go running back towards them though. It is like someone has got a hold over your person and you cannot figure out what it is. And it, it's emotional blackmail is what it comes down to. Okay, can we have further clarity please for Gemini? Thank you. Okay, the return of Aphrodite, temple, birth of the goddess, guidance, goddess, energy, treating as sacred, um, allure and magnetic appeal, sensual desires, laughter and delight, and yearning, longing for someone, undesired separation and pining. Circumstances is causing separation. This can be changed, but only if both parties are willing. Feigning that being away from somebody that you care about matters not to you and separated by distance or different beliefs are keeping you apart. Star-crossed lovers. Star-crossed lovers. It could be, it could be your person, like um, a member of your person's family could well be doing this emotional blackmail to your person trying to split you two up. It could be that as well. Someone has got this very strong desire to keep you two apart from each other. I don't know why. I genuinely don't know why, but that it's here. It's all over this read. There's a shit stirrer in your midst. Eesh. It's the love energies around Gemini, please. Flirt. Extend your light-hearted energies to others. Children. Your love life has been affected by children. That's interesting because I did see, I saw clearly, somebody was lying about a pregnancy. I saw that as clear as day. Eesh. So Gemini, please, love energies. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path and pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Mm. If, if this is a relationship where you're... Um, it, it could be a same-sex relationship. It could be the a, a, a relationship where um, you you have different religious or spiritual beliefs, anything like that. There, there's. I'm trying to explain. Um, it feels like someone outside of your relationship is looking in on your relationship and they have a problem with it for some reason or other. You're dealing with very small-minded, ignorant fuckers in your energy, Gemini. I don't know how else to say it. I'm trying to be polite, but you know what? I cannot be polite to racists. I can't. I can't do it, okay? There's someone around you who's got an issue with the, with the relationship that you have. Someone is a racist mofo and I don't like it. I hate it. I hate that energy. It's, it's vile. 
It's absolutely vile. And it's like they're, they're trying to keep you and your person separate from each other because... Oh. Ugh. Should we move on? Let's move on. Okay, reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith. All will work out for the best. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Time. You're trying too hard to give it time. And my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually but always united, for love transcends space and time. And nothing is missing. Yeah. The love is still here. The, the, in fact, Gemini, the love in your read is very, very powerful, really powerful. It's just really crappy and unfortunate that in this day and age, we're still getting people out there who have got issues with the dynamics that your relationship is. I mean, it, it just is just mind boggling. Absolutely crazy. Some of you, this could be a same-sex relationship as well, where either a member of your family or a member of their family has got an issue with the relationship. This is outsiders coming in and stirring up your life in this read. Your person loves you, though. Your person is madly, madly in love with you. They're, they're missing you. They're yearning for you. They're counting down the days, basically, where they can break free from whatever situation it is that they're currently in. They're counting down the days that they can come and see you and be with you. Okay. You have a healing message, please. Oh, interesting. Okay. Self-worth. That's number 27. Okay. Right, so I'll do the usual rule of three. We'll take the message from the creator of the deck. Your second message is from your own intuition while you're looking at the card. And then your third message is from me and my intuition. Okay. So it says, sometimes the hardest part of the journey is believing that you're worthy of the trip. Do you know just how worthy, amazing and unique you actually are? You are incredible. If you've picked this card, we would like you to also see the amazing soul that is you. You are enough. Step back from trying to justify your existence with all the things that you constantly do. Stop comparing yourself to others. Please, not for one second, ever feel that you do not measure up to the people around you. Nobody is perfect, even the people that you may be comparing and measuring yourself against. Too much of your personal power is being given to others, which can be draining on your own energy supplies. One of the most fundamental questions to ask yourself is, how much do I love myself? Take some time out from your schedule and reflect on this question. The extent to which you love yourself dictates how successful you are in every facet of your life, mind, body and spirit. You are worthy. It is time for you to stop walking in the shadows of others. Take your place on your own golden chair. Sit among the gods and goddesses and shine your radiant light. Appreciate yourself and all the beauty that you bring to this world. The more you come to see your own value and worth, the more others will come to see the qualities within you. No matter who you are or what you feel you have accomplished in this life, you are magnificent and unique, but most importantly, you're enough. Take your place and shine. And the positive affirmation that comes with this card is universe fill me with love and help me embrace the light love and creative soul that is truly me and the associated chakras that come with this card is the base chakra and the sacral chakra so the um the base chakra is usually known as the root chakra Okay, it's the, the first chakra that's found at the base of the spine and it pertains to your right to have uh, your physical needs. It deals with anything to do with survival, basically, um, your, your personal security, the, the way that you see yourself, uh, your ability to stay grounded, anything like that. Anything to do with survival is your base chakra and it can be blocked by uh, fear. Okay. 
and the sacral chakra is the second chakra it's the abdomen one and it pertains to your right to feel it deals with uh, pleasures emotions sexuality intimacy anything like that and it can be blocked by guilt um, so so when you combine those two it, it stands to reason as to why your um, your root chakra and your sacral chakra would be um, somehow blocked or just just not as flowing as they should be um, you know with that guilt and fear and feelings of uncertainty and being made to feel like you're not good enough and this that, and the next Nobody has got the right to make you feel that way about yourself, Gemini. Not ever. And I think that's absolutely horrific that someone else would be making you feel that way. And it's even worse as well that um, someone's family is doing this to another human because they happen to have different um, religious or spiritual beliefs to them. It's like, you'll never be good enough for this family because you're not a this, that and the next or whatever it is. Or you'll never be good enough for this family because we don't agree with same sex relationships or anything like that. You know, it's absolutely ridiculous that people are still facing these kind of problems in this day and age. It it boggles the mind, like literally, as I've already said. It's crazy, absolutely crazy. Right. But, Gemini, hold on to the message that you know that they're full of shit. And you know that this is not a problem with you. This is a problem that they have. And they need to, they, they need to get over it. So Gemini, please. Right, so this next deck, it might get a little bit too specific for some, okay? So if you just take it with um, the, the same, if you just treat it the same as you do the Zodiac information, okay? It's going to be beneficial for some, maybe not so much for others, okay? Right, so you've got the letters K and M. So these could be someone's initials. You've got Q as well. Tattoos. Interesting. Okay. Intellectual. So Gemini, please. Okay. Is that a J? It looks like a J. An F. Okay, you could have been misjudged as well by somebody's family. Like if you've got um, visible tattoos on show, that sort of thing. It's like, you, honestly, there's someone who is really traditional and stuck and rigid in their old ways of thinking and it's become an issue for yourself and your love partner. And then you've got cologne perfume scent. So your person, if, if you're not currently uh, around them at this time like if you've been physically separated which i can see some of you have your person has got something of yours um i don't know if it's like an old t-shirt or something like that that's got your scent on it and they keep it hidden they keep it close but hidden it's kind of like a little uh little comfort blankie or something Gemini, please. Okay. Nope. Double nope. Hard nope. Choose the path of nope today. <laughs> so anything and everything that is not for your highest good, reject. Reject outright. Gemini, you don't have to change yourself to get anyone's approval. 
if someone can't accept you for the way that you are, that's on them, that's not on you, okay? Really interesting read, um, quite, quite a sort of difficult energies to navigate through as well. Um, I think we got through it in the end though. Very, very best to look to whoever is resonating with this particular read. And also, um, depending on which date you're picking up on this read as well, um, I am filming it in Taurus season and it is being released in Taurus season. But if you pick it up after May, uh, after May the 20th, then I do have to say a very happy birthday to you. And I hope that you get all of your birthday wishes and dreams fulfilled. Okay, so that was your reading, Gemini. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, then the link to do so is in the descriptions box and it's in the pinned comments below. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a lovely week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.